Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC. I've got the E-Flight Habu SS here tonight. And uh, we're gonna do a flight in the moment, in a moment, but I'm gonna take it to the shop first. Uh, Cause I've got some new easy add lights and uh, there's several versions out now. I've got a couple newer versions, Mark V2, V3. And I'm gonna compare them to what this plane had, or the original ones that I had, which I had two sets of the same type. So uh, some different functions on the new set, that the newest one I just purchased. Um, so we'll go look at those quick at the shop and then we'll be back here for a flight. Hey YouTube, Mark with Ultimate RC back at the field here. So we're gonna put these newest ones up and this light set actually has four functions compared to uh, the three that I've seen on most others. It's got this unique feature of a double blink followed by a single blink. Um, thinking that might look pretty cool up in the air, so that's what I've got on the wingtips. And then I've got the slowest blink going on, or the slowest beacon, if you will, uh, on top, kind of like a hazard. Uh, evening flight, a tad bit darker than it should be because we got cloud cover, and uh, of course, all it does is rain anymore. Thankfully, it's not right now and we actually don't have any wind. So we're gonna get this flight up. Also have RC Geeks Afterburner in here. Uh, so let's get this up and see what these new lights look like. All right. And I, this is probably, I think only the second recording too of the Habu. And I'm not sure that I had part-timer record the original one. So hopefully we get some nice footage tonight. Hopefully we can showcase those lights a little bit. Uh, kind of an interesting uh, light pattern, if you will. Kind of looks like strobes on a plane. Uh, the one thing that I don't like about these lights is that I have not found a set yet where you can just have them on. Now, if they did make that, the life of the lights would be a lot shorter. Uh, typically you get maybe a couple hours uh, light time, or run time I should say. Uh, depends upon what blink you use. The, the slowest one of course is gonna give you the, the longest run time. But I can generally get several flights. I can use them all evening while I'm flying and then charge them when I get home. Um, so they work out pretty well. Pretty dark skies right now, so hopefully this is recording pretty good. We'll go play it and put this up here. And go back up and then come back down again. Well, there's that RC Geeks afterburner there. Caught a glimpse of that. Probably one of the brighter uh, afterburners on the market. Almost suspending it there. Uh, this plane is a pretty versatile plane. It, it, it's a Habu platform, so it is very docile, does not have any bad habits, but because this has the 6S battery in it, uh, you can do some pretty nice stuff with it and the airframe will handle it. Um, so it makes for a good plane for just about anybody, whether you're a beginner or an expert. Um, I think even RC Geeks did a video on this plane. He really liked how it flew and all the things that he can do with it. Uh, apparently it knife edges all day long. I'm not good enough to do that um, yet. Still working on that. I've only been flying for maybe three, four years here. Uh, and in Wisconsin, our flying time is maybe six months if we're lucky. We do get some flights in the winter, but it's few and far between, so it's really hard to progress because you can't get up all that often. Sometimes it's a month in between flights, but uh, and this year's been, the weather's been challenging as well, but we're taking advantage of it tonight. Hopefully part-timer's not too upset at me for not telling her what I'm gonna be doing here. Um, what we'll do, 
I got about a minute left. We're gonna come around. We're gonna do a flyby here close to, uh, to the strip. I'll come out for a landing to kind of get to see those lights a bit. Uh, this plane will, because of the weight, does not float quite as much. as its little brother, although that wasn't the greatest landing. Like, you still need to do a pretty good long approach with this plane because of that. Um, if you can get in a nose up attitude to slow it down, that helps. It'll handle that. No flaps on this plane, no retractable gear. So again, makes it a really good first uh, EDF if you're a good pilot. Uh, the other two, Basically any Habu is a good starting platform for an EDF and then it just depends upon how good you are as to whether you start with the STS, the basic one, um, or you do the 50 mil or this one. I have to go around, she's floating. Actually, I'm thinking I'm landing uh, with the wind here. We went to south. I'm bring it around. Meant to hit my thrust reverse, but I think I put it on a different switch. All right, we'll try again from the south. Try to set this up a little bit better. This is one of those planes you kind of. Once you practice it a lot, you can get really good at landing it because it's a little bit different from on an approach standpoint than most other jets. I get my approach out here a lot farther and a lot lower. This is much better. Now we should have it. There we go. I have to figure out where my reverse thrust is on this because uh, I swear when I put in reverse thrust before it still continued to go forward but all right so there we are we're done with it I might switch it uh, the lights here I got one more battery I'm gonna do a, a different pattern uh, to the one that I usually fly uh, verdict out on the double to single Tell me, um, once we get the other one up, which one you think you like. But um, again, these lights are great. You can add them to any plane, just put some Velcro on them, um, which is what I do. You can go from one plane to the next and not have to put lights on every plane. So these are, and I got these really cheap too. They were 50% off on Amazon. So I think I paid like 14 bucks for them. I mean, that, 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 that's a pretty good deal. So thanks again for watching YouTube. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Mark with Ultimate RC. Second flight coming up. On to my favorite pattern for when it's starting to get dark. A double flash on the bottom and a fast single flash on top. Um, so we're going to put this up. Second flight. Last one of the night. Get an RC Geats afterburner in there. Got a nice flicker to it. Uh, you can check how when you have that light come on as far as well. I, I think I got mine around uh, 30 percent of that. Four minute timer. Let's put it up. Uh, some other amazing uh, uh, sunset coming up here. That's a pretty nice one. For the planes these days without gear that doesn't move. Um, oh, that's cool right there. It's got some light on the, sunlight on the plane, but not on us.
as soon as I did so poorly with that. Get nose up to slow down a bit. Flying to the sun that suddenly appeared. You don't see that much these days, it seems like. Pretty cool sky over there. Flying on the other side of the school, the service road over there. Uh, flew the F 14 over there. Um, hard to fly larger planes, but I was able to do that plane over there. Check that video out. Uh, that was, uh, that's still a fun plane to fly. And I'm going to try to keep flying that so I can eventually work my way up to the Motion RC-64, uh, Twin 64, because I think from what I've been reading about that plane on how it lands and how the E-Flight version lands, you're going to drop the wing, but the little one behaves exactly the same way, so I think that plane is a pretty good precursor if you want to get into the bigger one, so that's, that's my plan. Yeah. 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 sells a version of them. I'm not sure about Horizon. I think I've seen them. Uh, but there, there are other sites you can get them from. So check it out. Um, easiest way to add LEDs without causing a big problem. Another touch and go here. Try to get as low as you can with this plane and then bring the nose up to slow it down. It'll start descending. It's up in a hurry too, which is nice, even without flaps. We'll do another, wow, cool sky to the south again. this all the time around here but we it's just been one heck of a spring and early summer as far as weather storms had a lot of tornadoes we them in Wisconsin but we've had I wouldn't be surprised if we've already reached our year average um, we had six the other night in the southern part of the state eight sorry how many eight I have been corrected by part-timer eight confirmed tornadoes the other night in southern Do a lot of touch and goes like this you can easily get over five minutes and i'm only flying a 3200 pack i like it i like it light like that you can probably get a 4000 in here um the rc geeks afterburner does require its own battery so it's not draining on my flight battery but it does take room and one thing that most yet don't have a lot of room but this one um certainly is a little tight Real power right here. That was up. Oh, a little too hard. We'll go out of that. Here's my timer. 
Again, like and subscribe, YouTube. Uh, hit the bell. Uh, trying to get my subscribership up. And so uh, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see for flights. Uh, what uh, plans I've already put up. Which ones would you like to see again? Um, and certainly I'll get some additional flights up. Plan on having a P-40 Warhawk up again from FMS uh, because I'm still battling that plane in. I think I'm about where I want to be and then I'll post those settings. Best thing is I'm okay with it. I'm not going to push the batteries too much. Um, I'm probably going to be instructed for the next few years. I'm going to expect that. I don't know why. I'm going to be working. I don't know why. But anyway, there you go, YouTube, like and subscribe, hit the bell. Again, thanks for your support. Uh, and uh, if you don't have these lights, I really think it's something you should have in your stable. It's a great way to add lights to a plane. There are so many out there that should have LEDs that don't. And this is such an easy way to do it. Yeah. So thanks again for watching, YouTube. Mark with Ultimate RC.